When it's May in Indiana, the fish become more active than perhaps any other time of year. Panfish congregate around the bank and competition for food and spawning sites is intense. This is what I saw when I got to the lake on Sunday. This is the kind of day you could easily fill a bag. Fish were working the surface, so I decided to have some fun using an ultralight three-weight rod and a foam hopper. I caught quite a few fish and there was only one problem. I caught mostly red ear. And they didn't have any fight in them. Don't give up on me. It's a big fish to have so little fight in you. Occasionally I caught a bluegill, and there's no comparison between the level of fight between a bluegill and a red ear. Bluegill are the champs. Still, red ear were decent sized and would have made some nice fillets had I been interested in that. Oh, yes. I just given up. I prefer foam flies here in Indiana. Now, if I'm fishing out west, I might use an elk hair fly or something like that that you have to put a treatment on. But here in Indiana, where you have to move the fly, I find those foam flies work a little better because they don't sink on me. Don't give up. My God, this fish just quit. <laughs> Here I am trying to show how fun it is to catch something on an ultralight, and this big old bluegill hits it and just quit. And actually, it's a red ear. Nice red ear, though. Most of the red ear I caught that day were in the eight to nine inch range, but I do occasionally catch them in this lake up to about 11 inches. With the sun shining, the birds singing, and the fish biting, this is a pretty fine way to spend a Sunday afternoon. I spent a couple hours catching bluegill and red ear like that. Finally, my hopper broke off. Now, this is something that shouldn't have happened to me. So, just a friendly word of advice if you're out fishing like this, and you catch maybe eight or ten fish, you should probably stop, cut your fly off, and retie it. Because what happens is those fish clamp down on it, and they shake, and after a while you'll get a weak spot in your line. I can't see well enough to look at my line anymore and see that weak spot. So the best thing to do is just catch some fish, Pretty cut it right off, here. and retie. Next I decided to catch some bass. I tied on an umqua dancing frog. Now this is a fun bait. It works just like a hula popper, pushing the water in front of it. Several bass came up out of the water and hit it from above. Clear over out of the water. Eleven inches. Before the day was over, they'd torn one of the eyes off of this thing. Before I left, I got out the ultralight again and put on a little black woolly bugger. These things are deadly. Caught several more nice red ear that day, and I took a picture of this one and sent it to my fishing buddy Walter. Walter's only six years old, and unfortunately on this day he was in Riley Hospital in Indianapolis getting treated for type 1 diabetes. You get well, Walter. 
so we can go fishing again soon.